Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we lift up your name tonight. We lift up your name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. Sometimes we just got to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank him. Just give him thanks. Say, thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you are Lord. We just have, sometimes we just have to call on the name of Jesus. Sometimes we don't have to say a perfect prayer. We don't have to say a specific prayer. The Lord said, if you just call on my name, he said, if you just say, Jesus, I'm in the midst, just call on me. I'm here. Just say, Jesus, say, Jesus, say, Jesus, say, call on me. He said, call on me. I'm here. I'm in the midst. Sometimes we make it too complicated. Sometimes we don't have the words. We just call his name. Call his name. Wherever you are watching me right now, the Lord say, call my name. Jesus, you're going to feel the presence of Jesus so strong in your room. Say, Jesus, Jesus. He say, call my name, Jesus. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He say, call my name. Open your mouth and call my name. Reko Baba Sapa. Reko Shilalabosaya. You need a breakthrough? He said, call my name. You need healing? He said, call my name. Thank you, Jesus. De demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of the praise. Father God, wherever the viewer is watching me tonight, Father God, I pray right now for their atmosphere to be full of your presence. Father God, wrap your loving arms around them, Father God. Let them know it's going to be all right. Uh. Father God, you said you will never leave nor forsake them. You said no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rose against them in judgment thou shalt condemn. Father God, you said that when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will raise up the standard against him. Father God, you said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Father God, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I, I pray right now for you to touch them. Touch them from the corner of their head to the soles of their feet. Father God, heal them from the inside out. Father God, I rebuke every negative spirit that will try to prevent them from elevating you in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every lying tongue in their ear in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for their salvation. Father God, I, I rebuke the hand of the enemy. Somebody's in, whoever is watching me, somebody's in bondage. The Lord says tonight, if you call his name like never before, the bondage is going to be broken. Father God, oh my God, I feel the presence of God tonight. I feel the presence of God tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You just have to give them praise. A lot of times we're going through silent struggles. We're going through different situations. But all we have to do is open our mouth and worship. There's power in worship. There's power in worship. When you start worshiping him, you're going to feel the bonds breaking. You're going to feel the atmosphere change. You're going to feel the power of the Lord. So you just have to worship. A lot of situations could be solved with worship. Just worship. And watch how things change. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, Kalalabosha. Father God, your word says that your strength is made great in our weakness. A lot of times we go through life and we feel like we're weak. We feel hopeless. We condemn ourselves. But the Lord says, if you read my word, he says, when you're weak, I am strong. He said, when you're weak, I am strong. 
So don't walk around here with your head down because you feel weak. The Lord says in, in that very moment when you feel weak and helpless, that's when I'm strong. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Lord. The Lord says, have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator the of the ends of the earth. He neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases his strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh, that is powerful. Father God, we thank you for your word. Your word gives us life. Your word gives us strength. And we know that if you said it, it is so. Father God, we know that your word shall not return to you, boy. Father God, we know that it when we speak the word, I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. When we speak the word, it increases our faith. When we speak the word, it increases our strength. I don't know who's watching me, but you're not speaking the word enough. The Lord says that when you speak the word, the situation is going to change. I don't know what situation you're going through right now, but the Lord says that when you start speaking the word, the situation is going to change. It's power in the word. It is power. It is power. Thank you, Jesus. You are Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to say, I want to read Psalms 91 because the Lord says that with the virus, COVID-19 going around, with all these different strands, the Lord says, apply Psalms 91 on COVID-19. He said, apply Psalms 91 on COVID-19. I'm going to say it again. He said, apply Psalms 91 on COVID-19. He said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And from the perilous pestilence, he shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings, you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him. And show him my salvation. The Lord says concerning COVID-19. The new strands. Everything that's going around right now in the whole globe. The Lord says for you to apply Psalms 91. Every time you feel fear rising up in you. He says read Psalms 91. Psalms 91 is powerful. Psalms 91 is the spiritual vaccine for COVID. He says read Psalms 91 until you can't read it no more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every time you feel weary, the, read the book of Psalms. If, even if you have to read a Psalms a day, it gives you strength. 
it, it gives you power. Hello, everyone. I wanted to come on tonight and get a brief, a brief prophetic word that the Lord has downloaded into my spirit as I was in worship. I want to come on briefly. I'm not going to stay before you long, but I want to give you the prophetic word that the Lord has downloaded into my spirit. And he said, I want a hundred percent total surrender. He said, daughter, Tell your brothers and sisters in Christ, I want 100% total surrender. He don't want 50%. He don't want 40%. He don't want 20%. He don't want 10%. He said, I want 100% of you. He said, I want total surrender. I don't know who's watching me right now, but you Know that you are not giving the Lord a hundred percent. I'm here to tell you tonight that the Lord is speaking directly to you. He said it is time for you to spend more time with him. He is waiting for you and you feel him pulling on your spirit. But the wiles and the care of this world have you distracted. Tonight, it is time for you to make up your mind. It is time for you to shut out the clutter. If you have to turn the phone on, do not disturb. Turn the phone on, do not disturb. If you have to tell them no, tell them no. If you have to separate yourself from certain individuals, separate yourself. If you have to stop going to certain places, stop going. The Lord says, I want a hundred percent. He don't want half. He wants total surrender. It's so many different things that he needs to tell you. It's so many different things that he wants to download into your spirit. But if you are not fully surrendered to him, you are not able, your spirit is not able to receive what he wants to tell you. It is time for you to make up your mind tonight, the Lord says. It is urgent. Have a made up mind to serve him with your whole heart. Love him with your whole heart in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, I want a hundred percent of you. He says, I love you. And you know that when you call on his name, oh my God, when you call on the name of Jesus, he has never left you. He has never forsaken you. He has brought you through hard times. He has brought you through difficult, tight situations. He has brought you through sickness. He has brought you through depression. You was at the cliff. You was at the edge of suicide. He has brought you through that. He has brought you through many things. And he says, I want all of you. All of you. All of you. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but whoever I'm talking to, you're overwhelmed. You have so much going on. You have your arms is in every direction. You never have a break. The Lord said it is time for you to press pause. It's time for you to press pause and choose him with your whole heart. The things of this world is going to be gone in the blink of an eye. It's going to pass away. But there is an afterlife after this life. And it's up to you to make the decision whether you want to choose eternity in paradise or eternity in darkness. The Lord says, seek him while he still may be found. Pray like you never prayed before. It is time for us to walk by the spirit and not of the flesh. It is so many things that the Lord wants to tell you. But if your spirit man is not able to receive, he cannot download things into your spirit. It is time for us to really sit down and look around and evaluate our circle, evaluate different things in our life. And then if it's not connecting you to the Lord, it is time for you to let it go. If it if it's distracting you from your relationship with God, cut it off. Cut it off. If you are in a situation where you cannot elevate in God, cut it off. That's dangerous. It is dangerous. We are in the last days in the mighty name of Jesus. We have so much going on in the world. We have so much going on in the world. It is time for you to seek the Lord. It is time for you to get close to God. It don't matter. All this other stuff is distractions. All this, all this, 
um the trend keeping up with the trend having certain hairstyles wearing certain clothes this is all distractions we need to be focused on having a strong foundation in christ it's the only thing that's going to get you through in these last days it's the only thing the we're going to have it's so much chaos the Lord is, is going to give you rest. He says, come to me and I will give you rest. So in the midst of chaos, in the midst of everything just going crazy, people won't understand the rest and the peace that you have because you serve an almighty God. You serve an almighty God in the name of Jesus. The Lord wants me to tell you tonight to give him your all. Start giving him your all. If we can make time for other things, if we can do other things, we could do the things that we truly desire. The Lord says that he deserve, he's worthy of the praise. He died for your sins. Some of you are watching me right now. You're not even supposed to be here. But the Lord has gave you grace and mercy. And you're here today. He woke you up this morning. You still have your right mind. You're still able to do what you need to do. You're still able to take care of your kids. You're still able to pay the bills. The Lord is giving you grace and mercy. He deserves more. He deserves your whole being. He deserves your life. So I'm coming on here quickly tonight. I'm not going to stay before you long. And I just want to let you know the Lord says it is time for you to give him a hundred percent and i want to close with this scripture it says he says luke 9 23 and he said to all if anyone will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me john 14 15 reads it says if you love me you will keep my commandments it is time for us to separate the things in our life that just does not make sense and it does not do us any good. It is time for you to cut it off and it is time for you to focus on the Lord. The Lord gives us all free will, all free will. And it is your decision to choose. It is your decision to choose. But at the end of the day, the Lord says, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He hears your prayers. He hears your cries. And he is willing to do all in abundance for you. But you have to give him 100%. So that you can have that strong foundation. That strong relationship in Christ Jesus. No matter what people say around you. No matter if, if you have to stop going certain places. Stop talking to certain people. The, Lord, the relationship with the Lord is more important. Man will fail you, but the Lord will never fail you. He will never leave you. And I'm here to encourage you tonight to follow him with your whole heart. And if there's anyone watching me right now that has not accepted the Lord Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and you're on the fence, you don't know, but you, you, you know, I'm letting you know, this is your confirmation because the Lord did not have you click on this video by accident. You are not watching it by accident. So, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and I believe and confess with my mouth that you died on the cross at Calvary and you rose on the third day. In Jesus' name, just invite him in. Just invite him in. It don't have to be a complicated prayer. It don't have to be hard. Just invite him in to be your personal Lord and Savior. And he will be in you. And seek the Lord. Read the word of God. Stay in the word. Pray. Meditate on the word day and night. And the Lord will show you things. He will reveal things to you. And it will be well worth it. You will have so much peace and so much joy. So I just want to close right here and I just want to come on quickly and let y'all know to surrender 100% to the Lord so he can use you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all have a blessed night. Amen.